Hi there, I've seen the term DLO in hospitals. What exactly does that mean? Can you tell me what a DLO is? Yeah, sure. So the DLO stands for Disability Liaison Officer and it's a service that runs in Victorian public hospitals and we do a number of things um, to provide support um, and assist people to access the hospital when they need to. Uh, things that we might do, things like advocating for longer appointment times, uh, or making a note of patient care preferences uh, so that people are provided their care the way that they need it to be provided um, and also navigating hospital processes. Hospitals can be confusing places and so the DLO can support you through that. Oh, wonderful. I think that's such an important service. Now, is it only at this hospital or is it at all hospitals? So it's at all Victorian public hospitals, um, not in the private sector, they have a different process, um, but yes, DLO services, they might look slightly different um, at each of the different public hospitals, but in the public hospital system, yes. Excellent. So how can the community contact you or engage DLO if they're encountering any barriers, they can't get interpreters or they've arrived at the hospital, how can they contact you? Yeah, great. So you don't need a referral for the DLO service. Uh, you, there is an email address attached, which we will provide. So when you either know that you're coming to the hospital, you can contact us in advance, or once you get here, you can always ask any of your healthcare providers to get in contact with the DLO, and we can either meet with you or help remotely. Oh, excellent. I think that would be really valuable for the community. So, you've got the list of things that you will provide, but what does DLO not do? I mean, perhaps some community members will ask you to do things that you can't do. Yeah, great question. So, the DLO does in no way replace your medical health care treatment team. Um, we're here to support and be an addition. Um, we don't do things like book interpreters. Um, but we certainly can liaise with language services if an interpreter is something that you may require. Oh, so you can assist them to, with the booking of an interpreter. Oh, that's excellent. But you won't actually do any of the medical work itself. You're just helping with access. Exactly. Well, thank you so much. I hope this means the community feel a bit more informed and then they can contact the DLO when they come to hospital. We will put the email address either at the bottom of the video or within the transcript and you'll be able to contact them in the future. Fantastic. We hope you do. Thank you so much. Thank you.